carry on carrying on from where we left off and ordinal data ordinal data is ranked data that gives no indication of the difference between levels it it allows you to say who is the best but doesn't say by how much an example of this would be a world ranking in golf or tennis continuous data is data that can have a numerical value with any number of decimal places this could be a lap time in formula 1 Interval data is based on a scale that has equal intervals of measurement with equal, equal intervals between each score. An example of this uh, be the scoring system in, in diving where it goes 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, etc, etc, all the way up to 10. Re ratio data has proportional equal units of measurement which is measured from 0 uh, and upwards and does not become a negative number. Interviews. An interview is a conversation which has a purpose. There are four types of interview. Structured interview is a sec uh, interview guide that doesn't vary in the questions asked despite any interesting responses that the, the participant may have. Advantages it is very reliable but on the other hand disadvantages uh, the answers may be less valid. Semi-structured, uh, an interview uh, that follows the guide but gives the possibility for an, an unthought of conversation to be talk, talked about. Uh, advantages of this is that someone could go into large amounts of detail. Uh, however, it's, it can be very uh, not as much a reliability. Um, Unstructured, this uh, has a start question, however from there a conversation flows, uh, you need a very skilled interviewer for this. Uh, advantages of this, it can reveal more about a participant, uh, however and on the other hand um, it's hard to analyse uh, what, what, what's going on. The other one uh, of the four types of interviews, a focus group which is explained on the next slide. An overall advantage for an interview can express that uh, is that someone can express their own views in their own words. You can learn about their tone and picture voice, and that will help with analysis. A disadvantage, however, the person answering uh, the questions may not answer it directly and. Also, they can be very uh, time-consuming. An interview in sport can uh, uh, can be to do when an interviewer is trying to get into someone's thoughts when doing a psychological piece. How do you, how do you deal with pressure situations, for example? Focus groups are similar to interviews, uh, but involve more than one participant. There are usually between 6 and 12 participants, and the researcher acts as a discussion facilitator rather than an interviewer. Advantages of this is that some people may be more comfortable speaking in a bigger group rather than a one, uh, one discussion. Uh, however, a disadvantage is that everyone in the group may not contri uh, uh, contribute uh, and your answer may not be as valid. Uh, an example of this could be uh, an open question such as, is it cool to play sport uh, for, a teen uh, for a teenager? Uh, which uh, could be put to many people who are uh, of that age to give an opinion. Next uh, uh, is observations. Uh, the, research, the researcher is active in the research as he is there to see from the outside. This could be a notational analysis piece or psychological aspects or coaching. Advantages of this is uh, it has access to real life situations 
uh, good for explaining meaning and context, high ecological validity, and in-depth knowledge can be gained from this. Disadvantages, however, is that it's hard to record data, is very objective, uh, and it is hard to replicate. An example of this is in the sport contest would be a qualitative um, piece on whether professional athletes give signs of stress in demanding scenarios. A question there, um, uh, which is now moving on to quantitative uh, research, whereas the other three before were qualitative research. Uh, a question there, it used to collect large amounts of data from large groups um, where, when the data that you want is not as much in, date, in depth. Uh, advantage is data can be collected quickly. Uh, it can also be wide ra ranging sample size uh, and it is very easy to analyze. Disadvantages, however, it lacks flexibility in answers, has a low external validity, and participants uh, may give socially desirable answers. An example, oh sorry, um, the questionnaire, questionnaire slides there. Um, an example of this um, is how much exercise do you do in a week? Uh, that could be a simple question in a questionnaire. Um, that could be in a fitness testing questionnaire, for example. Uh, I'll move on this time to uh, lab-based uh, data collection. This is, uh, this is the type of data collection where the variable uh, are controlled, so you are measuring only one specific variable. Advantages of this are increased control and accuracy. It is a repeatable standardized procedure. Uh, it can test cause and effect with a high internal validity. Disadvantages uh, include low ecological validity. Uh, it, you can't always control everything and the sample could also be biased. Uh, a good example of this um, is that uh, of testing F1 cars in aerodynamics in a wind tunnel. That, that's a good example for a lab-based data collection. Field-based data collection, this is a collection of data in an environment that stimulates uh, one in which the sport is being played. Uh, uh, advantages of this is obviously a gr greater ecological validity, uh, low sample bias, uh, and there are few demand uh, characteristics if the participants are unaware. A disadvantage, uh, disadvantage is, uh, though is that there is a lack of control it's very, it's near impossible to replicate the data that you get, uh, and uh, it's hard to re re record data accurately. Uh, an example um, of of field-based data collection. I said I didn't do the slide again. Uh, an example of this could be a statistical analysis of someone in a game scenario. In football, how, uh, for example, how many tackles they make in a game, or how far they ran, um, and yeah, uh, here are the references of what I have used on the internet or uh, in in the book that I have. And uh, thank you for listening.